Netflix is coming out with their next original TV show. Uh, this one is in collaboration with the Wachowskis. They're directing all these episodes. Those are the people who brought you The Matrix. I think they also brought it. did Babylon 5, if I'm correct. I think I that's they right. Did. But no, I'm I think not there sure. was someone involved in this show that did it. Yeah, uh, so so that's interesting. And so if you really want to know exactly what's going on with the TV show, you can go back and check our other our other uh, video about it. But I'll give you a little brief synopsis. So there's eight different people in eight different cities around the world: um, Chicago, Seoul, um, which is North South Korea, Mumbai, London, Berlin, Nairobi, Mexico City, and San Francisco, who all of a sudden are born. And they can kind of, they have sort of a connection between each other. They can kind of share memories and see each other in weird places. So it, it's, it's an interesting thing. So the story, my take on the story is it was an interesting story. It's definitely a new idea for a story, but it's really convoluted so far. And we're only reviewing the first two episodes, so maybe it gets better as it goes through. But that was just my, my take on it for the first two episodes. How about you, Marcos? Um, it is definitely confusing and all over the place. <laughs> um, the first episode just left me completely confused and disoriented. Uh, the second uh, episode kind of solidified a lot of the characters for me. Like, I mm -hmm. actually care about them, and mm -hmm. I'm going to watch more just because I want to see what happens to them. Overall, plot-wise, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I feel like yeah. the video was just... Uh, I don't know, called by Trinity for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the white rabbit, right? So, yeah. well, what about you, Brendan? What did you think? I'm going to take it as a... I don't think you guys are necessarily that confused. I think you're confused just because you're looking for more than that was there. I think the real problem with it was they didn't get anywhere. Like, we watched two hours, <laughs> a, a, a full <laughs> movie worth, and not a whole lot really happened yet because they're trying to. I think they're trying to spread things out a little too much, but they're focusing on certain people and a little bit. But they're still like everything's just kind of like spread out so much because they have to try and tell eight storylines at once yeah, that once. nothing has really developed. They haven't yeah. had time to. Develop. I'd say the last. And that's actually kind of a flaw. I would say. I'd say literally the last five minutes of the second episode, something happened. Yeah, so that was, that's pretty much that where things it. start. Like, um, everything else was just. I mean, there were things that happened, but not a lot of it was really like okay, that's going to keep me into the story. But yeah. so yeah. that's that. Now the characters themselves, there are a lot of characters. This is kind of like oh a soap God, opera yeah. that they're trying to juggle, and you know, you kind of expected it being eight main characters. Now, there's all these little side characters for each one of the main characters, but there's eight main characters. And I find myself throughout the two episodes liking some more than I liked others. And that's because they focused on some more than others. Yeah. Like, the ones that I liked were the Chicago cop. I thought he was a cool guy. I liked the London DJ. She just seemed interesting to me. I don't know why. She didn't really do much. She didn't, but uh, <laughs> she, she was cool. And I liked the Berlin thief. Who Was it just me, or did they have, like, Irish accents in Berlin? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No, I was thinking yeah. these guys were from Ireland or something. It was like, are they German or Irish? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I had that conversation today. <laughs> so, okay. okay. I didn't so even realize just... they were in Berlin. I thought that they were in Dublin or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I only know they were in Berlin because it literally, at one point when they switched, it said Berlin. So, uh, yeah. yeah. But what did you guys think of the characters? I'm, I'm liking them a lot so far. Uh... I, I think my favorite character is the London DJ chick as well. And it, it's more like I just I feel for her. I'm just like, mm -hmm. it really sucks, and I, I want you to be happier. And then um, I also like the, uh, the lesbian chick that's in the hospital. That was an interesting part of it. Uh, they focus a lot on her. Anyway. Yeah. It seemed like she got a whole lot of the story. She got yeah. the whole episode, I felt like. It was named after her. No, was yeah. it? Okay, so, yeah, and, and, yeah, she got a lot of it, and I guess they're kind of hinting at maybe she's the first one of these sensates discovered, so that might be why they're focused on her first, but, yeah, that was kind of interesting. The actor and the cop are my other two favorites. Yeah, well, the actor was... <laughs> the one scene where he's, like, boning his dresser in the first episode. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? What is oh, going man. on here? But, Brennan, what did you think about the characters? Honestly, um... I was a little un underwhelmed with the characters because, again, because it seemed like they didn't 
really get to a whole lot. Um, the only character I felt I really cared about was the cop because something happens with him. He, you know, kind of delves into this this problem, this like the the double standard between what happens to cops and what happens to the people they're supposed to be protecting, yeah. and and all that. But everyone else, it seems like there wasn't a whole lot of development. There was some backstory. Sometimes um, there seemed like there was just almost nothing. Like the the Chinese girl. <laughs> yeah, well, no, what, nothing what, happened. What did got, you, no, nothing. She, she was she was South Korean, by the way. She wasn't. Oh, South Korean. Korean whatever. I, I'm, Your I'm Chinese sorry. wife would not appreciate that. Yeah, she would. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's but, the thing, though. How am I supposed to know? She was only in true. there for like ten minutes over two hours. Yeah, and then, like if, even that, if even that, if even that, just at the bottom they, for a second. Yeah, they like showed her meditating or something like that, so you know yeah. she knows some sort of martial arts. And then they have like a five minute, not even a five minute meeting, where they just show her say two lines and make a fist. Yeah, well, Done. because she and don't forget the chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, yes. Yeah, so, it was like, oh, okay, what's what's the deal with her? They haven't even touched on her. Um, well, the, I, the, actually, I kind of felt compelled to to be interested in the 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 Indian woman who oh, had that yeah. conflict. But with with almost everyone other than the cop, I felt that this story should have progressed more because they they delved a little too much into a few people and wasted time on certain people that they could have been spending on other people like like the actor. They they set up. A very his secret is predictable. You know what's going on and everything. They kind of try to pound it in a little too much before revealing it. Like, okay, we we get it after like the first time. He's probably gay, right? All right, spoilers. No spoilers. You can't say spoilers afterwards. <laughs> you always do that. Anyway, it's the first episode. I can it's say not it really afterwards. a secret. Okay, look, that's like his well, actually, character. That's the second episode. Okay, yeah, but it's still, was... like, that's his character and it's predictable from the first episode. That's true. It is pretty predictable. They didn't need to do essentially the same scene. They do, like, essentially the same scene the same twice scene where twice, he's denying yeah. uh, a woman. A beautiful okay, woman, yeah. we get, you could spend that time and tell us something about this uh, S- South Korean woman, you know. Or <laughs> or the one character that they I, actually go to. The, the least they showed a character was the man from Nairobi, um, like who drives the van? I think. He'll oh be yeah, a oh, I don't even. Oh, remember. Yeah. I was actually thinking today. Everybody forgets about him. Who, yeah, because I was thinking today. Who who are the seven people? Who are the eight people? I can only count seven. Is the is the random like teacher guy the the eighth person? Mm-hmm. The guy that doesn't make the sense. Van. <laughs> the Van Dam Van. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, that was so oh, awesome. I, I think he seemed like someone that would be actually. You know what? When I first saw him, his first scene, I liked him. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then they didn't do anything with her. Yeah. Yeah, I think he'll develop into one of my favorite characters as the show goes along, but they literally showed him for maybe five minutes during it, the yeah. first two episodes. Maybe five minutes. So. You no, know, it was actually that introduction that made me feel really bad for the writers in the show, that they have to do eight simultaneous plots around the world, <laughs> and yeah. they are loosely, very loosely connected. Like, mm-hmm. if the Swazowskis came up to me and said, write this, I would have been like, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but it, and it felt, though, like they, they added a bunch of filler with with a few of them that they could have used to, because they, they are pressed for time to tell these eight stories, they could have you know, cut down on a few of them so that you can show us more of these ones that they that got almost no time. Like, mm-hmm. if it's already clear what's going on with the actor, let that progress. Like, they, they progress it at the end. They, they let it go further, and that's cool, yeah. right? Yeah. But um, but they could have cut out some of the stuff with him. They could have cut out some of the stuff with the, the, the lesbian uh, woman because she gets so much. Just she gets the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's a lot of it that's like actually not story progression at all. Um, and even the cop, like the cop, I would say gets a good bit of time, but at least there's always like delving into stuff with him. Like actions are are happening. Yeah, yeah, him. stuff is happening. Um, but like one character, the Berlin guy, he was also like, the, maybe they spent a little bit too much time dwelling on his father. Too. Yeah, but uh, I think that'll add depth when it comes to it. But um, one character that they really don't talk about, even less than the Nairobi guy, um, is, is one character that I always feel that is central. And if you watch the show, you know, if I don't have a good villain, the show might as well not happen, or the movie might as well not happen. They That's kind of introduce point. somebody who could be a villain. The guy, he shows up in the very beginning, but that's it. Mr. Whispers or something like that. 
And I need a good villain. I need somebody who's pushing the story along. I need a reason to get behind said characters before I can really get behind them. So yeah, I think I'm that's what's missing. That. Yeah. Is tension. Also, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm also not sure, though, too, with, with these characters. Another reason why they really need to develop these characters is I don't see yet how everyone is useful. In this kind of show, I expect everyone to essentially turn us into a superpowers because they, they all contribute yeah. something. But certain people I understand. The uh, oh. Nomi is a they they mentioned very briefly. They She's could have hacker. emphasized this more. He's a hacker. Yeah, it's a great yeah. hacker. The cop is a, a cop. So, so the 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 thief, dude. the Berlin thief, he's a safe a lock, hacker. master lock. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, lock picker, obviously, the the woman from Seoul is going to be some sort of martial artist. They kind of hinted at that. Uh, yeah. I guess the action star from Mexico. I don't know. Maybe he can do some action stuff. Well, he's an actor. The the guy that's an actor, he can be convincing. Oh, that, that's true. Um, again, I'd like to see what the the Van Dam driving yeah. guy. And, <laughs> and really I don't understand what the well, I don't understand what the Indian woman's going to contribute to this. Like, yeah. I think she she may have an interesting character, but what does she possibly contribute to this? And I, I don't um, know what the London DJ is going to contribute. Yeah, rich husband. Rhythm. She's going to contribute <laughs> rhythm. Yeah, rhythm. <laughs> But yeah, I just think a good villain would really start tying this all together. And they did kind of give you inklings of the villain in the end, towards the middle slash end of the second episode. But that's about that. But let's give a brief synopsis. After watching the first episode, Marcos, do you want to continue watching the rest of the show? Yes. Okay. And Brendan, do you want to keep watching? I'm going to give it a no. I feel like those two hours could have been spent watching the last episode of Star Trek Next Generation again. And then added a, another episode of Futurama. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> okay, well, seeing as Brendan doesn't watch anything, it was surprising that he watched this. So I did, and I was like, nothing happened. Try. No, I'm not a fan. Now, I, after watching, finishing the first episode, what I want from a Netflix show or an HBO show or one of these is I have to watch the next episode. After I finished the first episode... I did not have to watch the next episode. I could have left it there and been just happy. Did want to watch yeah. the second episode, and I felt like they were drawing me in a little bit deeper in the second episode. So if they keep building on the momentum, I will like the show. So I'm going to give it a couple more episodes. If it keeps sucking me in, then I, I have a feeling I'm going to watch the entire thing. So it's it's a 50-50 for me. I will watch a couple more. If it doesn't quite get it done, you're right. There's other things to be done. So, But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Did you enjoy the show? Are you going to keep watching it, or did you hate the show? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus Facebook, and WordsFromMyFace.com. And also, hit Marcos up at The Ripped Reviews on YouTube. So